been doing this amount of time. So there's also training on the dashboard on the website and there's this uh, demo video you can watch on YouTube. So let's go back to the dashboard. Here you can click on training. And there's a lot of modules um, that you can do. This is the first one using the dashboard. So you can go through this model module and it'll tell you the basics of using the dashboard to measure what your students are doing on Wikipedia. Okay, so um, I want to just do a little activity before we do the big activity. So a lot of <laughs> yeah, so a lot of you here are teachers. How many of you know the activity think pair share? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to think about it silently for a minute. And then you're going to just turn to your neighbor and talk about it for a minute. And then we'll just call in a few people to share with us. So the first question I want to ask you is, hearing what we've said today, how do you think that Wikipedia as a platform is uniquely positioned to enrich the learning of students? So just think about it quietly, and then I will let you know when to share with your neighbor. The question is, how is Wikipedia uniquely positioned to enrich the learning of students? Okay, so just turn to your neighbor and share. Now, they have to do a lot of fact checking to find out about these people, mm -hmm. but they're just writing up for me and for others, just like she said. Yeah. This, this is a actually based um, piece. Wikipedia and there are these kind of lesser known Japanese people who might not have English sites yeah. on Wikipedia. If they were actually using it into English on Wikipedia because they're in an English class, that is going to be highly motivating for them, but it'll also show them how they have to support them. It'll teach them the importance of having facts that are verifiable. So, and I think that's something they struggle with. That's good. Uh, because in my class, I always teach my kids for everything that you say or everything that you say, you have to be ready to defend it. And so many of them have been programmed through history and their culture that whatever our elders say is right. We don't need to dispute it or anything. And most of the stuff that they say is really uh, just hearsay. So it's like just teaching them how to research and how to cite what we have. Yeah, I mean, they might learn the difference between putting in a citation from a blog that they can verify or some tabloid news that they think, oh, it's this news. Right. But they don't realize that yeah. it's just the title of a high school student's blog. Yes. And it's not actually a news site. Right, yeah. I was thinking that I guess one of the biggest benefits from it is just the amount, if you go to the bottom, it's, it's a reference section. The reference section has always been my favorite section of the entire thing because the information's there, it's good. But without really the citations at the bottom, then, like you said, we don't. If it, we're not sure if it's hearsay, or we're not sure if it's uh, if it is um, if it has any other other connections. Yeah. yeah. And I was also thinking that if a student is interested in one topic. Everyone's interest in one thing could be very different. So maybe talking about the person that wrote Peter Rabbit. Maybe one person wanted to know more about her personal life. One person wanted to know maybe who her ancestors were, who her parents were, who her kids are. So I thought that, I think that's really cool. Just the amount of diverse information you can get just from one page. Okay. Awesome. Okay. I got a question for you. Yeah. So for the Taiwan Chinese. Page. So, like the English page that we see, is it translated into another culture? Auto conversion. Huh? There's an automatic conversion. Okay. I'll show you that. I wanted to have um, usually my attention getter are these like uh, Buddhist chimes, and they make a really soothing the loud noise, but I forgot to bring them to the side. Um, <laughs> so, I just want to call. Um, on a few people to share. Is there anyone who would like to share what their group uh, discussed? Group? Yeah. 
Sure. Um, our group basically talks about when we're doing assignments or we're uploading assignments, making sure that our students know the validity or the value of knowing how to how to cite and then be able to defend your statement. Just because you say it or just because you post it, make sure you have a credible site and be able to defend your statement. Because in, from what I've gathered in my classroom, in my blended classroom majority Chinese, what my students tell me they've been taught through history or through the course of their family that whatever our elders say is right. We don't need to research it, we don't need to dispute it, we don't need to question it, it's right. So therefore, now it's coming to into fruition that most of them, even on the college level, are being dismissed from colleges because of plagiarism. Mm -hmm. And it's really not, it's really kind of not their fault because they've been taught. My grandfather said this, this is right. Yeah. But your grandfather got it from someone else and didn't cite it to you. Yeah. So, so now it's coming down, it's coming down the pipe. Yeah, yeah that's a really good point. And the, the culture around uh, Wikipedia is that like citations are super, super, super important. We even have t-shirts that say citation needed. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can't put something on there without having a citation. Yeah. Um, so that's a really good point in that some countries, um, it's, it just hasn't been part of the um, academic culture to have reliable sources. So um, yeah, that's, that's a really good point. How about someone from over here? How about would you like to share? What did you guys say? Um, oh, oh she or the either, either one. Yeah, she one. She okay. Final okay. We had a, a long discussion with, uh, so, so between us, we have had a, a discussion based on what we have uh, heard today. We believe this uh, uh, will help the students be more motivated to be engaged and also uh, leading to sort of a, a win-win situation for all the learners, students, and the teachers. So we, we think it will work. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, you, you say it all. <laughs> <laughs> Great. 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 You have to say something. It's a teamwork. <laughs> exactly. So she basically uh, translated what we talked about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we try to kind of keep it simple by focusing on three elements. So engagement, and then motivation, and the final win-win situation for everybody. Great. So, Thank, you. Thank you. And then let's have all right. We've got a volunteer. Okay, we are from Nepal. Very good talk. Uh, it is very useful for finding the reliable sources of knowledge, so it's got it, and editing or contributing knowledge to a content area, or sharing is easy and references can be cited. Adding knowledge of any content uh, or develop uh, 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 the, uh, the store of knowledge, repertoire of knowledge, and motivating students for learning. This is our summary of our discussion. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, one more question. We'll do the, oh, you have one more person who wants no, to share. Sorry. No, go for it. Yeah, uh, your question is great. Mark, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Mark uh, shared from uh, uh, the, the general literature where fundamentally it's uh, pretty difficult to encourage students to read. So I think the unique position, uh, as uh, Mark mentioned, it's, uh, it's very famous, so all students know about Wikipedia, mm -hmm. and it's uh, easy to access. So maybe through this uh, uh, platform, that we can encourage students to read more again. Okay? From my share sharing, it's, uh, mine is uh, also from the administrative and also psychology background. Okay. But I think when it comes to subject specific, it's so hard to, to let students to publish, because even that, like master, PhD, it takes a long way for students to publish. But uh, if, I mean, students can use Wikipedia when they write and people give feedback, they're so satisfied and uh, they can learn from the feedback and I think that's uh, really good for, you know, starting from undergraduate. Exactly, yeah, they get feedback not only from the teacher but from the community. And believe me, the community have really high standards. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You don't have to worry. <laughs> They probably have higher standards than the teacher. Um, one more question, and we'll have to do this one really quickly because we're running out of time, but I want you to uh, discuss, we'll just do the pair share, um, try to think fast. Uh, so what do you think are the specific challenges? So you can just turn to your neighbor and think about what kind of challenges do you envision in implementing um, a Wikipedia education program in your context? I think I'm going to go to the next one.